Talent, technical fury, inexhaustible energy. This is Jermel Charlo, the younger twin born in May of 1990 to the Charlo family. Kevin and Terry welcomed two beautiful boys into their lives on a Saturday, but little did they know that their twin baby boys would follow in their father's footsteps and grow up to become beastly boxing champions. Jermel and his brother Jamal both dabbled in football and basketball in high school, but their interests soon shifted. At the age of eight years old, the Lafayette-born twins were taken to the gym as a way to instill discipline into their lifestyle, but they found the love of boxing instead. I took boxing, I put boxing first, but I'm very much at peace. I'm very much happier than a lot of people think. but. It's in my own world. It's in my own way. Their father's boxing gene must have been transferred to the young boys because they were passionate about the sport at a very young age. And in just two years, Jermel, the younger twin by a minute, took his boxing game to a whole new level by mastering the elite level on the amateur boxing scene. At the age of 15, he snagged a shiny bronze medal at the 2005 Junior Olympics and gave his amateur career a fitting end with 56 victories under his belt and only 8 losses. I'm a warrior. I'm just here to fight. I'm here to be very vicious. The best man win. That's all I care about. Who? I don't care. I'm going to push myself all the way through. At the age of 17, Jermel, aka Iron Man, kicked off his professional career with an impressive four-round decision over Corey Somerville. His momentum continued as he secured a convincing three-round stoppage against Jesus Villarreal on April 19, 2008. Then in June, he showcased his prowess with a remarkable first-round TKO against Dwayne Jones. The year proved fruitful for Charlo as he notched wins over Rodrigo Villarreal and Dion Nash. As 2009 rolled in, Charlo's winning streak persisted. He secured a decisive four-round decision over Juan Serrano on February the 28th and followed it up with a well-earned decision win against Carlos Garcia in a six-round bout on April 4th. The summer of that year saw him delivering an eighth-round TKO against Federico Flores Jr. on June 26th. Shot sends the mouthpiece out, and now Charlo's going to work, and the referee steps in. His proficiency continued as he triumphed over Varden Gasparian in six rounds, concluding the year with a remarkable second-round knockout of the previously unbeaten prospect Abdin Lozano. A standout moment came when Charlo showcased his prowess by delivering a sensational one-punch knockout to Chicago's Chris Chapman in the third round. Charlo landed a clean, straight right hand to Chapman's chin, securing a knockout victory at just 1 minute and 22 seconds into the round. Then, on June 8, 2013, Charlo faced off against former light welterweight contender Demetrius Hopkins, who had a 33-2 record, out of which were 13 knockout wins. In a closely contested match where Charlo dictated the pace in the initial rounds with his aggression and power punches, he emerged victorious through a unanimous decision. Later in October, Charlo took on the challenge posed by the 34-year-old Jose Angel Rodriguez in a scheduled 10-round bout and sealed the victory in the final round via TKO. Rodriguez just covering up. It's going toward the rope, stumbling the rope. Left. The referee really looking in. Oh, Rodriguez is taking a bust in. That's it. Good stop. Yeah, oh this is what I want. You know, I pray for this. I wanted this when I was younger to be on the top stage, and tonight will be a fight that will allow me to take that leap into the top bracket. When you actually get dropped, you have to get up, and you're dizzy, and you're bleeding and blood is in your eyes. When you actually go through that, then you'll know if you're built for that. 
Carlo faced what would be the biggest test of his career up until that point, and he demonstrated finesse as he outboxed former world title challenger Rosado to claim the victory for himself. He's done. That's impressive. Well, there's a reason. Good 10th round. Fun to watch. 154 pounder Jamel Charlo, who has solidified his status as a contender in the junior middleweight division here tonight. Now, Iron Man Charlo. The Iron Man claimed two more wins for himself via unanimous decision and went on to face another former world title challenger. The fight was a close one, but it ended in a fashion that left the older fighter unsatisfied, as Matarosian believed he had won the match. After this victory, Charlo went on to face former world champion Joaquim Alcine and won via a technical knockout. With Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s retirement, the WBC championship seat became vacant and the Charlo twin knocked out Jackson for the title. After a couple rounds of bad trailing, Charlo turned the table by landing a series of blows to the head in the eighth round. Curious as to what his thought process is, now he's coming out hard and he throws a right A jab followed by a... A nice right hand that caught, oh and it's done John Jackson, and Jackson is out, and this one is over! It's a brotherly affair! Iron Man Charlo! The next year, Jermel defended his title in grand style by knocking out Hatley cold with a right hook to end the sixth round. That was it, showing it all for a really good exchange here. An interesting exchange, but there comes Hadley Landon in a very awkward position. Jermel, Iron Man, Charles. I just want to say I love my brother because he's uh, still by my side. And, and how about your new coach? Power. How about your new, co your new trainer? Because he's been good. It's been a, one of the best things that happened to me right now. His next mandatory fight of 2017 had a similar end. The first round knockout proved that 21-year-old undefeated Lubin was no match for the hungry champion. such a high, high level intensity fight. There's a right hand on the inside. It's even, you know, it's hard to discern it. He put him just Trout was more of a challenge, but Charlo still won via majority decision. A decision Trout didn't accept because he felt he won the match if the knockdowns he suffered were ignored. But it was later proved that Charlo landed 25 of his punches compared to Trout's 20%. Second defense. Austin Trout looking to get two fights to their feet. Tremendous matchup between two talented fighters. And the action from the fight. That was a right cross there by Jamal Charles. Champion Jamal. 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 For the first time in the 11 years of his professional career, Charlo suffered a loss when defending his title against Harrison. The match lasted the entire 12 rounds, but the unanimous decision wasn't in his favor this time around. Though Jermel was unable to defend his title that night, his twin Jamal defended his middleweight title. Super welterweight champion of the world, Tony Superman. You know, they took that fight from me, but I was there pressing the action the whole time. He was moving around, just throwing a jab, one or two punches. He, went, he didn't win that fight. However, Charlo came in strong the next year and knocked Coda out in the third round. Oh, jab, jab, Coda! Like that! He wasn't ready to stand back in there. He then went on to face Harrison again, and with an 11th round knockout, he retrieved his title. Go down again, the ropes are keeping it up. Now he's wobbled. Oh. And down he goes. Jack Reese is looking close. Jack Reese has ended it. Jamel Charlo is the champion of the world again. And now the two time WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World, 
Jermel, Iron Man Charlo. I got that bill back. It took me a while. I got it out in the living, but I didn't leave it up to the judges. The two-time WBC world champion became super hungry for more and faced Rosario in a unification bout. The match ended in a knockout in the eighth round, and the Charlo twin did not only defend his WBC title, but emerged as a unified champion, winning the IBF, the ring, and the WBA light middleweight titles. Left hook. And oh my! Oh, wow. Down goes Rosario from a jab Four. to the body and you know, the solar plexus punch, right? <laughs> from many, many. The promise of right now concern for yes, Jason sir. Rosario. No, 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 no. And it's a double jab, and then he's going to go downstairs with it. And you know, the weird thing about it is that punch was partially blocked yes. by the elbow, Jamel. right? Iron, Iron Man, Man Charlo! Charlo still wanted more, and he challenged the undefeated WBO champion for his title. The match was pretty competitive and eventually resulted in a draw, which stirred a bit of controversy. Comes back with a flurry of his own. Jab was able to pierce through there a few times, but Castaño now returning fire. Hello to exit. Retreat trying to establish the jab. The decision is a split decision draw. Thankfully, we got to see the two fighters the next year in a rematch. And though the fight was just as competitive as the first, Charlo was able to get two knockdowns in the 10th round. Castano was pretty hurt after that and thus sealed Charlo as the seventh man to achieve undisputed champion status across four belts in history. Jamel, Iron Man Charlo! With a big match coming up against undisputed super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez in September, fans are psyched to see how Iron Man will perform. Geared to delve into the combat universe? Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel.